Hey YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. A couple of videos ago, I had put together a VHF UHF pack, um, a couple of HTs and some accessories to take with me for under two circumstances. One, if I was traveling in my wife's car, um, or two, if I'm in a hotel, because this, I believe, is equipped to be able to operate VHF and UHF from a hotel room. So I'm at a conference right now, at a hotel, and um, I thought I would set the gear up and give it a trial run, see how things work, see if there's anything that's missing from the kit and anything I need to do with it. So let's walk through setting this up in a hotel room. After I put the kit together, I got my hands on one of these. This is an old uh, Radio Shack uh, CBHT, uh, but it, what I like about it, it doesn't have the rubber duck. This has a full 48 inch whip, I guess it is on it, or 50 something inch whip, a little loading coil on it. I take this with me now just to kind of listen, see what's going on on the good old 11 meter band. So this we can put in the window and just leave it on. The HT I'm going to use is the uh, Yezu FT70DR. I'm going to use also the N9TAX Slim Jim antenna that I can hang in the window. So we'll remove the little smiley metal whip and we'll set this up to operate with the Slim Jim. The Slim Jim antenna is in this little pouch and here it is. It comes with this nice little hook and I'll show you how that works. Next we need to put an adapter on the radio. Uh, the radio has the little SMA connector on it. The antenna can, comes with a BNC. I had them install a BNC connector on it. So I have this little adapter that you can get from Signal Stuff and uh, it's a nice, nicely made little adapter. Fits right on the radio. That's it. The N9 TAX Slim Jim is held together with a little Velcro strip. And you open that up and you just unravel everything. Um, here's the antenna. At the very top of the antenna is a little hole. What that hole is there for is this little hook that you can just pop right into the end of that. This hook you can hang over a curtain rod. Here's the antenna deployed in the hotel room. I'm on the fourth floor, so I should do okay. Using the repeater book phone app, I found a couple of local repeaters, wrote down their frequencies and their PLs and the offsets and all that. I won't program them into memories uh, because I'm only gonna be here a couple of days. So I'll just punch them in manually and we'll see if we can make some contacts on some local machines. Let's uh, put out a call on 5-2 first and see what happens. K2 CJB portable listening. K2 CJB portable listening 5-2. I didn't anticipate anything on that. We'll try one more time. K2 CJB portable listening 5-2. Okay, let's try a couple of repeaters. Already have the negative split programmed in. Let's put in the PL. Now let's see if we've got it. We do. Well, let's put out a call. K2 CJB portable listening. K2, CJB portable listening. Well, we can try another repeater. This one is a plus split and it came up that way. That's convenient. Now let's put in the PL. See if we got it. And we do. Let's put out a call. K2 CJB portable listing. This repeater's a few miles from here. 
about six or seven miles, I think. K2, CJB Portable listening. Okay, I do need to head down and get some chow. So um, I think after my uh, evening activities with my conference here, I'll uh, program another machine and see if we can make a contact. So it's later in the day now, it's about uh, 9.30 at night. And um, I was thinking while I was at my, uh, my meeting that um, maybe I should look to see if there's any uh, fusion repeaters with Wires X connected to them, because then I could uh, connect into a Wires X room somewhere and anywhere and probably find someone to, uh, to uh, make a contact with. The problem is I looked on the repeater book app and I also went on the repeater book website and both of them came back saying there are no Wires X repeaters in the state of Rhode Island, which is where I am right now. So um, I'm gonna try uh, checking out a couple other local machines and uh, see if there's anybody out there. All right, let's see if I can bring this machine up. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty noisy. I'm not gonna try to um, get into that one because I'll be probably just as noisy. Okay, so we'll try something else. No, oh, same thing. Okay, that one's kind of far away too. So, all right, we'll we'll try a different one. I don't want to take the chance of uh, just being a noisy signal to a repeater and just having to battle with somebody to try to make a contact. So um, if it's coming to me noisy, then there's a good chance that I'm noisy into it. Because <laughs> let's face it, I'm operating a pretty compromised station here. So we'll try something else. Okay, we didn't try any UHF, so let's uh, try that. The Slim Jim that I have um, is a dual band Slim Jim. Okay, I get a split, and now I get to put in the, the tone. There we go. It'll work better this time, I hope. Oh, wow. Nothing there either. Okay, I got one more. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Full quieting there. Okay, we're going to try to make a call. K2 CJB portable listening. Oh, beautiful signal. This must be right nearby. Dead full quieting. Well, try another call. K2, CJB portable listening. Seems like that's all we're going to get out of that repeater. <laughs> I guess we're not going to make a contact tonight, but that's okay. I'm here for a couple more days, so I'm sure I'll have another opportunity to turn the radio on and see if we can make a contact or two. Um, the good news is, is that this all works. I mean, you know, we're bringing up repeaters and we're hearing repeaters. Uh, so, you know, it, it works. It was not a very cumbersome thing to set up, as you saw. Uh, so again, um, I'm going to turn in for tonight and um, we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow uh, and uh, maybe perhaps Friday morning. K2, CJB Portable listening.
N1, JBC, good morning to you too. Yeah, I'm here for a couple of seconds also. Uh, the call is K2CJB, Kilo 2, Charlie, Juliet, Bravo. Name is Chris, and we're portable. Uh, we're actually at the Crown Plaza in uh, Warwick, and uh, here for a conference, just uh, playing with the radio, making sure everything works. made a contact. How about that? <laughs> That's what ham radio is all about. Uh, sometimes you got to keep fishing before you make the contact, but it finally happens. Um, what this proved to me is that this idea of having a little pack with a couple of HTs and some extra batteries and things like that, it's a viable option. Um, if you're traveling and you and find yourself in a hotel, a, a small admin pouch is all you really need with, with uh, not much gear. Uh, and an antenna like the N9 TIX uh, a Slim Jim works great. Uh, you know, you're, last night I was bringing up repeaters that were a good 10, 12 miles away from where I am, so, so that works. Um, also, if you have a quick little mag mount set up, uh, you, like I have in mine, you can be in a car with, without radios in it and get yourself on the air and you're able to communicate. So uh, that's really what this whole exercise was about. So I'm glad that I was able to make a contact and everything works, <laughs> so that's all good. So I hope you found this um, informative. You know, if, if, if you're considering putting a pack together, um, I'll try to put the card up here. If not, I'll put a link down in the description of the video that I did that put this pack together. You see all the components that I have in it um, and the thinking behind it. And then um, maybe this uh, this will uh, kind of spur your interest in doing something similar. If you like what you saw, please click the like button. And of course, uh, all of us YouTubers love to see uh, people subscribe to our channels. It kind of encourages us to keep creating content. So if you like what you saw and you want to see more, click subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified next time I drop a video on YouTube. So, until next time, 73 from K2CJB.